Hi everyone, welcome back to Intuitive Shutter. I uh, hope 2021 is treating you well. In today's video, um, we went and shot some Kodak Gold 200, so let's jump right in. This video was shot in August. Uh, we went to Ottawa and also around Quebec to shoot some uh, Kodak Gold. In terms of cameras, what we used, so Chloe was using the Mamiya DSX500 and I was using the Voigtlander VSL1. Both of these cameras are actually in the list of five cameras we uh, included in our five tips to, to start with film photography. Those are part of the cameras we included as beginner cameras. Fully manual, they're both vintage SLRs. So SLRs means that what you see is what goes through the lens. So very useful when you're making your focus. It's really a type of camera that we love shooting. So we went around with that. Uh, and we tried out some Kodak Gold. It was kind of the first time we were shooting that film. So that particular film, uh, what it's mainly known for is those warm tones. So really a film that you like to shoot on the uh, outside, of course. It, it has a very vibrant um, yellow, orange. The greens are also quite deep on that film. Uh, it was interesting to shoot. And also it's kind of a slower film, uh, so 200. That can be useful if you're looking to have that bokeh effect and shoot a little more open on the outside. You don't need to have such high speeds uh, to, to reach that, so it's really interesting. Uh, in terms of the results, we were quite pleased with it. It was our first time shooting it and I think it really renders well um, outside pictures. I don't think it's something I would use um, much for, for something else than that. Uh, even though we, we tried some different things like for example night photography and, and all of that but it's mainly for exterior I would say. So here are the results and how we shot them. I uh, hope you enjoy it. This picture I really wanted to uh, kind of uh, explain why I like it. I have a hard time with green usually in photography, but with this film, since it has kind of a yellow uh, cast to it, it brings a lot of warm tones into those greens and I think it really captures what summer is all about, walking in the woods. It's uh, really that, that vibe is really well transcribed with that coat of gold, so I love that shot that Chloe took.
this picture really, it almost looks like a, a daytime picture. It's actually something that was um, shot in pitch black darkness. It's just the moon that you see there. It's a very long exposure, something like 15 minutes. Uh, and I really wanted to try that, that uh, Kodak Gold 200 for nighttime photography and it actually worked pretty well. I mean, the detail is very uh, good and you don't have too much grain uh, since it's a slower film. So yeah, I enjoyed that shot as well. That picture, I think it's my favorite from this role. Uh, with that replica of the 1969 Charger from Dukes of Hazard, The orange and blue blend very well. I love the tones and that film rendered them very well. So uh, yeah, really love that shot.
thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, of course, if you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on uh, upcoming videos. Don't hesitate to leave comments as well. It's always amazing to see you guys interact with us and to have kind of your feedback on those videos. If there's something, uh, any uh, suggestions you have for the upcoming ones, we always love to hear that. So yeah, thanks again and uh, see you on the next one.